Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today we're gonna do the dual fuel pump install and first thing we're gonna do is just start getting getting some things out of the way. So we're gonna remove this out of the trunk. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up on the back seat and this pulls up just real hard, but it, it does just pop right out. Now for this goes. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of a mess back there. All right. All right, continuing to get things out of the way. You gotta pull this back, so we gotta pop these two rivets out. If I can get on. Yeah. Oh. Might end up destroying them to get them off because I don't have the special tool. Whew. All right, well, those are out. All right, well, those are both out. Um, I didn't have special tools, so I used, used my pliers and kind of destroyed them. I may end up needing to get new ones, but they didn't, they didn't come out easy at all. Alright. Alright, so we just had the two pop rivets out there. I do think we gotta take, take this off here. Looks like we were getting caught on it. So, I'm hoping that's all. That's all we gotta do now. Alright. Right. Right. Get that out of the way for a minute here. We may have to move that again when we gotta run a wire up to the fuel pump, but Alright, so next. We're gonna take the uh, 10 millimeter nuts off here. Power, ground. So we got power here, ground here. All right, so next we get the two nuts off. We have two ground wires, it looks like. Oh, those are both, get those both set on here. Also make sure my taser gets set back up. All right, you can see now we have the two grounds hooked up and the positive battery there. All right, so next uh, we mounted this. I may have to find a better better way to do that. Um, it's kind of got it zip tied there for now. Uh, the next part of the instructions though is to uh, connect this Y connector and it looks like we're gonna do it It'll go in like this, and then what else we got here? These are gonna connect. All right, and then we gotta get these connectors connected. Wish we had a little more room with them, but. Okay. 
All right, so we've mounted this. We may have to find a better way for that still. Uh, we got all these Y connectors hooked up. Um, and now we got pump one, pump two, and we're gonna have to feed these up to the fuel pump in the front. And I'm thinking, yeah, pretty much you got cords that came with the kit that says pump one, pump two, plug it into pump one, plug it into pump two. Uh, and we're gonna go, go from here. So next we gotta route the pump one, pump two cable. Uh, best way to do that is just to follow. Factory wires underneath there, I crawled into the trunk. Um, pushed it down, you can push it down in there and it also helps. If you kinda pull the seat, pull the seat down, kinda get it through there and then tucks up under here and here they are. So we're gonna make our way over to the fuel pump. Um, once we get to the fuel pump, we just gotta pop the cap off. I kinda just wedged a screwdriver under there, pop this off. And now we're gonna have to get to uh, getting the old fuel pump out. All right, so we got the fuel pump up. Looks like there's a wire through here. Usually these, let's see if I'm right. Usually these, yep, so you push. I think C, if you can see there, um, the side with like a slit in it, the hole. Push that in, push down, and then pull, pull out. Let's say you release that, and then we got this off of there. We're gonna try to get that, it's all out of the way. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's pushed out of the way. Uh, I think we're gonna have to try to hit this with a screwdriver and a hammer and try to spin it just enough to loosen it. And then, uh, then that should come off. All right, so we finally got it with the screwdriver and hammer. That was not easy coming off. You really had to hit it hard. Um, so now we can lift it up. And uh, yeah, now we're, now there's our fuel pump. And be careful here now because you can see, see the standing fuel in the tank. So I'm probably, I'm gonna shut the camera off while I pull this out. Uh, I just wanna, make sure I'm focused on, on trying to get this out of here without spilling anything. So real quick before I pull this out, there are a couple things you gotta disconnect. Uh, this wire right here, and just push down, pull back, pull down. Uh, you got fuel line right there. So you gotta push down on the white, and then just pull back. I got mine pretty much all the way off. I'm just gonna finish getting off. Then you got the last hose right there, uh, down in there. Can't really make room. There it is. That was just sitting in between there. I just pulled up on it. Uh, most likely, I'm guessing that's probably the return. So, yeah, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna pull it out. Fuel pumps out. Um, first thing, it's just gonna lift out of there. That was not the case. I really had to play with it. Um, I mean, it's not not that it's not doable, but it didn't just pull right up. You really had to work with it to get it out of there. So. Just be ready for that. Uh, also, I, luckily I didn't spill any fuel in the car, but I did once I got it out when I was trying to get out of the back seat. Dumped a little bit on the floor there, so I gotta finish cleaning that up. But yeah, so there's the fuel pump. We'll uh, go on to looking at the new one. I think there's a couple things we gotta do with the new one, and I think we gotta, gotta take this off, but I gotta finish looking at the instructions. Next, uh, four screws. This is right here, remove four screws. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, looks like it's a four Allen. So go ahead and rip these off real fast.
All right, four screws are out. This is disconnected. We're just gonna make sure being careful here, but check everything out. Make sure it looks good. Hmm. So I see some of the O-rings are on here and some of them are here, yeah. So watch that, make sure your O-rings stay, stay in one spot here. So we're gonna, we're gonna take these off, put these back. All right, it still looks like we're missing one. I don't see that o-ring. Oh, there it is. It fell. That o-ring actually fell off when I when I removed the cap. So, yeah, watch your o-rings. Mine, mine are definitely not in the right spots there. All right, so we got to take this off so we can tell how much fuel we got in the tank. Um, all right, so this took me a few minutes to figure out how to come off or to how it comes off, but you can see right there, there's a small white, white tab. Just push that down with a screwdriver and that slides right off. Uh, it took me a few minutes. It was kind of moved back and forth, but I couldn't figure out how it came off. All right, so now, so now we're gonna take a 2.5 Allen, loosen this screw. Gonna loosen the screw. This comes off. This slides onto it. Hang on, let me make sure I got the right way here. Yep. So this will slide onto it, just like that. And then we're gonna slide both onto there. Hole lines up. Take our screw, 2.5. Kind of had to push down and get some pressure on it for that to get started. I think we were hitting the plastic a little bit on the uh, orange part there. Tighten that down. All right, well that part's done. Uh, I already wired up this. Uh, just take some dikes. I just pulled this sleeve up just a little bit. Cut it here. Uh, took some crimps, crimped it down. It's pretty much, well, stripped it and then crimped it. That's pretty much all that was, that's pretty simple. Uh, all right, and now we're on to the next step. All right, so next, it looks like it's uh, time to drop the pump in. I'm curious how easy, easy this is gonna go in here. Um, I'm curious how easy this is gonna go in here. And it looks like we got feed line, then the silver bracket there, that should be returned. So, yes, yeah, so let's see how it goes. Okay, yeah, that was a lot easier. Okay. All right, so now we're uh, hooking back up the main fuel line here. <sighs> Pops on all the way. I hope you guys can see, I know it's it's extremely dark in here. Uh, we gotta find the return line though in the tank. There it is. It really, really got buried. That yeah, return line is being a pain. Alright, there's your return. Let's see if we pop that in there. Hmm. Yeah, well, wish I had some little bit better light. There it goes. Yep, pops right in there. We don't gotta loosen that or anything. Good. I was hoping we didn't have to. Perfect. All right. So next, we drop the fuel in or the fuel pump in. Connected feed line, connected the return line. Um, next part, 
I kind of struggled with. So we have the four original screws, two long screws. I have two of the long screws in right now. Um, those that help you, because the fuel cap is off, help you line it up. So you get one of these started, screw it in. Well, what I was struggling with is I was holding the fuel pump underneath with my hand and I couldn't quite get this straight. So I ended up having my wife come out and uh, she came in from the driver's side there. I'm through the passenger side. Uh, she came out and uh, held the black cap for me just to help me straighten it up because I could hold the fuel pump underneath. I was just having a hard time getting the fuel cap lined up. Uh, as soon as I got a couple threads started on this, it pretty much smooth sailing from there. I got two of the screws in. About to pull this one out, uh, put another screw in, put this one in, another screw in, and then uh, from there we're going to get our connectors hooked up. And uh, I don't have the PCM in the car. I haven't got that back yet. I was hoping to have that back so I could at least test uh, uh, at least test the fuel pump and the injectors. But I guess that'll come in Monday. So let me uh, finish getting these other two screws in, and uh, I'll check back in here in a second. Yeah, just part of the part of the problem I was having with those long bolts getting them in there was I was kept knocking the O-ring off. Uh, the fuel pump, um, so yeah, if you can get an extra hand just so somebody can just help hold that black thing, um, or that black cap, but now we got a hook, hook our connectors up, get the lock back on top, or the snap ring back on top, uh, and then from there we're pretty much, pretty much done. Alright, so now here's where we're at. Um, had to get the cap back on and you know, that lock ring had to go back on uh, but for the cap and it's something I should have thought about I can't believe I didn't I did have to trim up let's get some more light I did have to trim up right here uh, to get the two wires out for the two fuel pumps uh, I may end up I'm probably going to end up putting some tape around here maybe some electrical tape just to finish sealing it off and protect the wires uh, but at this point, everything is hooked up and uh, good to go.